One of South Africa's favourite sports stars has been honoured by Britain. In recognition for her services to sport, Paralympic champion Natalie Dutoy becomes an honorary member of the British Empire. She's our guest on Newsnight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Another accolade, Nasi, and a beautiful tribute from the Queen. How do you feel? Uh, just extremely humbled. Um, it was a great surprise and I think, you know, just to say thank you to all those that have been involved in the award, the British High Commission and, and my team for, I think, you know, being there for me and, and keeping me going. And your family? Uh, definitely, you know, I think it's been a, a small group of people and it's, it's to, all of those, to all of those out there, you know, it's not just me, it's not just me yeah. carrying the MBE, but, uh, but everybody that's been involved. Now, I mean, how do they react? Oh, my family. <laughs> My family don't really know yet, so, but uh, it's, it's, I, I'm not very big with uh, speaking about awards and things like that. So It still makes you shy. I mean, so I want to get your <laughs> reaction to this. I mean, the British Acting High Commissioner Martin Relin, Reynolds, Reynolds, in explaining why you achieved this accolade, said Natalie is an inspiration to up-and-coming athletes throughout the world, and I'm delighted that she's been recognized for her achievements. Does it still make you shy to hear people talk about you like that? Definitely, you know, as I said, it's not always just been about me, but it's been about the whole group and the whole team that keeps you going and, and who believed in, in a dream and a goal and have gone out and helped me, you know, do a lot of work around the country and around the world as well. Yeah, well, speaking of which, it's 12 years since you lost your leg, right? And your story of overcoming the pain and the trauma of the accident and the operations is well documented in South Africa, especially for your fans. Did you always know that you would be a champion, even in your <laughs> darkest, darkest moments? Definitely not. You know, it's, for me, it's about achieving a dream and a goal, and it's about fighting for whatever you want to achieve. And it's tough. It took me 12 years to try and achieve that dream and leading from 12 to 22. Um, but it's, it's something that's great to have said. I've achieved it and, and move on and I don't think you ever know you know what you will be one day um, mm -hmm. but you go with it and it's hard work and you go through your ups and downs and you know you live day by day month by month. Well when you consider this road you've traveled towards becoming and evolving into this multi-medal winning athlete and all the sacrifices that you have made for those who, who closely watch your career and are so inspired by it what rates is one of the most important lessons you've learned? Just to keep going, um, you know, it's, it's, as I mentioned, you go through ups and you go through downs and it's to, to keep going through all of them um, and that you will go through every emotion. It's not just about getting through a trauma, but it's about living it every day and, and saying, you know, this is what I look like, this is what I have to do, but I'm going to get up and I'm going to achieve something and I'm going to work hard. And, and really, you know, as I said, it hasn't just been about me, but the team behind me that's, that's gone out and, you know, be it sponsors, be it family, be it friends, whoever it is, those are the people that keep you going at the end of the day. So they all share, they share in this, do they? Absolutely. Yeah. Does it parallel the feeling that you had <laughs> when you met Madiba or does it not even come <laughs> close? <laughs> To, to be honest, I actually spoke to Madiba for the first time on the phone when I was in Egypt and he actually phoned me from South Africa after the Commonwealth Games. I was there for the African Championships. So it was something completely different. And um, I think I've met the Queen before and I've, I've you know, it's, it's, it's a humbling experience. You know, you don't really get to say too much. And I don't think you can actually say too much to Madiba or to the Queen, whoever it is. But it's, it's just that humbling and just to sit there and go, you know, thank you very, very much for, for acknowledging and for or, yeah, I guess acknowledging all the hard work that goes into it. You've done so much in your, in your life. I mean, you've had so many experiences uh, from, from, from a young age. And here you are, and you've retired, Natalie. I mean, how many of us can retire at your age? What next? I mean, what, what do you see yourself doing together with all of these, these wonderful tributes and accolades that you've managed to accumulate and this hard-earned life experience? What next? It was, it was an aim that at that's the age of 28, I would actually finish my career in swimming and, and move on into something completely different. And saying all of that, I gave myself that period of time to know that I've trained as hard as possible and I was training up to eight hours a day um, in a swimming pool. And I knew that I had achieved everything that, possibly, that I could possibly achieve with my body or, or you know, dreams, goals, that type of thing. So from that perspective, you know, it's great to be able to say I've done it and to walk out and to move into something completely different. Haven't really been able to experience anything other than swimming. So looking, still looking as to what I'd yeah. enjoy or what I'd maybe What are you be trying your hands at? I mean, <laughs> are you going to be baking milk tots for a living? <laughs> I, I don't see it. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea. Uh, it's been a year since I retired from the 7th of September 2012. Yeah. Um, and I'm still trying to find that little place that, that I could, yeah, that I could find something and do something. Um, I have a lot of interests and it's, it's, 
Yeah, I guess it's to find that little part that I would like to do and, and carry on with in life. Well, we're very proud of you. I don't know if we can see Jeremy on this camera as well, but we have a tradition here at Newsnight of giving a little Newsnight <laughs> standing <laughs> ovation. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Congratulations Thank again you. and go well. We'll be watching your career very Thank closely. You. Paralympic uh, champion and soon to be member of the British Empire, Natalie Detoy. News that moves. ENCA.com.